Ooh. Uh oh. Ta da! Hello, everybody. Welcome to my week three vlog for August of 2020. Uh, this week, I'm going to be talking about games and specifically the games that I play and why I played them. So I'm excited to say that I now have 13 subscribers. Uh, so thank everybody for joining. Uh, and if you're not a subscriber yet, I hope you'll choose to do so by the end of this video. Now this week, you're only going to see me working on the Kingdom Lock Inspector, as I didn't have time to uh, do more work on um, the Beast drawing. Uh, but I'm very close to finishing the Kingdom Lock Inspector, and I would have had it done this weekend, but things got a little too busy. Uh, so I ended up trading in my old car and got a new one on Saturday, and then... Today I was reminded about how large a large margarita at the Mexican place is, so uh, you know, had to take a little nap after I got home, and now I'm doing the video. Both of the uh, pictures that I'm working on, uh, the Kingdom Lock Inspector and the Beast, are going to be painted when they're finished. So the types of games that I like to play are what they call pen and paper games um, such as Dungeons and Dragons or any other pen and paper role-playing game video games I'll sometimes play casual games on my phone and um, let's see what else uh, I will even play board games sometimes such as like Monopoly or Risk uh, but across all these different things the the games that I like the most are uh, games that involve character development in some way. Now even in each of these game formats, whether it be a board game or a pen and paper game or a PC game, um, there are a variety of genres that are available in each of those. Uh, like, for instance, um, with board games, I mean, they're all board games, but you've got a whole slew of things. Like, you've got your, your uh, like, Monopoly, where you've got the goal of collecting the money and uh, bankrupting the other players or uh, like risk where the goal is to destroy the uh, well maybe not destroy but uh, take over the world by destroying your opponent's armies or even like say chess where you know you capture the the uh, your opponent's king but you know every uh, format of game has a has a multitude of genres so when we get into video games, you've got shooters, you've got action games, puzzle games, uh, role-playing games, um, and then there's the casual games, which are games that are not really meant to be played uh, like with a full story. They're kind of like um, just things to kill some time with. Games like Farmville, Candy Crush, those kinds of things, those are casual games. Now, most often, like I said, I'll play either a pen and paper role-playing game or I will play a PC game that is either pen and paper or sandbox or survival. Something that has something to do with either character development or, uh, like, player creativity. So, like in a sandbox or a survival game, there's usually, like, resource collecting and crafting. I enjoy uh, character creation and seeing how my character develops throughout the game or how the story itself uh, develops based on what my character chooses to do or what I choose to make the character do. I particularly like uh, games with goals and storyline or story plot points that can be affected by my character. So if I have a choice between two options in the story I like games the most where those two options actually make a difference uh, in the in the gameplay and that they make an intelligible difference so like if you say choose to not save the character in like the beginning town that character will never be in the game again because you never went and saved them you know it's little things like that those are those are really big uh, big points to me in 
uh, role-playing games or story-driven games. Um, being able to achieve goals always gives like a little bit of a sense of satisfaction, you know, like you feel like you've achieved something, so then you want to keep playing the game, and that's another thing that I like to see in games, where, you know, maybe I have a goal to do, like, collect something, and so I get it collected, and then I have it, but then there's another goal. Um, now, a lot of the survival sandbox games, like Minecraft, and Seven Days to Die, and let's see, what else is there, Ark, um, they don't really give you goals, it's more... As you play through and you collect things, you learn the recipes to make stuff, and the more stuff you learn, the bigger of a base you can make for yourself. For the most part, I do prefer a game that has an ending, uh, where you know you you defeat the ultimate bad guy or whatever. The the you have conflict resolution at the end of your game. That's one of the most important things to me in a game. So one of the biggest reasons that I like to play role-playing games is that they allow me to play the role of a character that's either completely fictional, like it's a, um, a role that doesn't exist in real life, like say a starfighter pilot or um, you know, the captain of a starship, or, um, or it lets you do something that's say illegal without getting in actual trouble for it. Like if I play Grand Theft Auto, in a sense, that's kind of a role-playing game, and you go out and you steal cars and do bad things, but, um, you know, all within the game, and so it, it's, you know, fun for the most part. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Um, with Dungeons & Dragons specifically, you're usually creating, like, a medieval fantasy-type character that's... A character completely unlike what you have in real life and you're filling a role within your team or your adventuring party and you're fighting monsters or solving problems you know whatever it is that you do in your game which is uh, it, it depends a lot on whether you're playing a module or some uh, content made up by a dungeon master or a game master and that content can be any number of things. It can be like pretty much just straight drama, like a uh, like a soap opera, or it could be an action type game, or I mean, pretty much anything. It could be a puzzle solving game. It all depends on like what the players want to do and what the uh, game master is running for them. Now, when I'm playing games, sometimes I get inspired by them, or I'll want to express the experiences that I've had in a game through art. Uh, one example of this is when I did my No Man's Sky painting. Uh, I believe that was last year. Uh, it's a watercolor painting of like an astronaut on an alien world with other planets in the skies. Then another piece that I did based on a game, The Kingdom Lock Inspector, which is based on Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, where I was playing a rogue character. He's a halfling rogue, so he's kind of like the Hobbit from um, the Lord of the Rings uh, stories. So those are the main reasons that I enjoy playing uh, video games, or games in general, is for inspiration, just entertainment. Um, when I enjoy playing, say, like a role-playing game or a... Uh, uh, Oh, what do you call it, like a survival game, it's either for the character development or the story interaction or for the uh, sense of uh, kind of like creativity where I create my own base or my own little thing. Um, and so, you know, there's lots of games out there. There are a lot, other, a lot of other types of games, too, that I don't usually play. Things like racing games or um, simulations or, like I mentioned earlier, shooters. I don't really have a lot of interest in those games, but, you know, they're fun for other people. So I want to give a shout out to all of my patrons. Uh, their support helps to keep my art supplies in stock and helps me to get new things sometimes. Um, so my, my current patrons are Carolyn Martin Ramirez, uh, Bob and Debbie Zavara, and Kathy Haney. And I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for supporting me. I give a shout out to my wife Rita who uh, takes care of the stuff around the house and 
gives me time to create the art and uh, make videos. I would love to have you become a patron as well. So you can check out my patron site at www.patreon.com slash Eric and MI Perkins. You can check out more of my art on my social media. Uh, all of that is listed in the uh, description of this video. And you can actually buy merchandise with my artwork printed on it now through pixels.com, which will again be in the video description. Thanks for watching my video. I hope to have the next one up by Friday, August 28th of 2020. Uh, so I look forward to seeing you then.